Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Nursing Education. My name is Pinky and today I am here to discuss about the CVT Part A Numeracy. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video. First question is what is the volume that has been drawn up into the syringe? So this is one of the simple questions they will ask in the Part A and MC CVT exam. But you have to be careful with some uh, units, the space between the unit and then uh, the number. And also you have to be careful with the, this part. So this gray color is not actually the liquid in the syringe. This is the part of the plunger, seal of the plunger. So you have to be, be careful with these things. The correct answer is 6.5 mm. So this one is a 6 and this one is a 6.5 till here the fluid is there in the syringe and when you are writing the answer you have to write number and then space then the unit and you should write uh, M is small and then L capital. So this one is a correct answer. Question number two is what is the volume that has been dispensed? Please use the correct unit. So this question is also a bit confusing. If you see this cup, this one is a round cup and you might feel that this is the volume is more than 20. But if you see properly, you could see that this, this part is a front part and that one is a back part. So because this is a round and you are seeing the picture rather than the actual, you might get confused in this. So you have to be careful with this question as well. The correct answer is 10 ml, 10, then space, the small m, and the capital L. Question number three is, a patient has been prescribed 0.2 mg of digoxin. What is the dose in micrograms? The correct answer is 200 microgram. So as you know that 1 mg equal to 1000 mcg. So you have to calculate uh, 0.2 into 1000. And if you calculate it, that will come 200. So the answer is 200 mcg. A patient produce 1250 ml urine in 24 hours. What is the volume in liter? Correct answer is 1.25 liter. So as you are converting from the lowest unit to the highest unit, you have to divide here. So as you can see in the box that one liter is equal to 1000 ml, and you have to divide to 1250 to 1000. And if you calculate it, that will come 1.25 liter. So the answer is 1.25 liter. The fifth question is, a patient has been prescribed 800 mg of aspirin. How many tablets should you administer? So the correct answer is a four tablet. So if you use the formula, like what you want divided by what you have, you will get the correct answer. So your one is 800 mg and you have is 200 mg. Here you can see in the picture that you have got 200 mg tablet of aspirin. So if you calculate it, you'll get answer four tablet. So you have to take four tablet to give the patient. A patient has been prescribed 100 ml of amitriptyline hydrochloride solution. What volume should be administered? Please use the correct unit. The correct answer is 20 ml. So in this, you can use this formula, what you need divide by what you have into what volume of solution it's in. So your need is 100 mg and you have got 25 mg per 5 ml. So 100 mg divided by 25 N mg into 5 ml. If you calculate it, you'll get the answer 20 ml. So the correct answer is 20 ml. A patient has been prescribed 600 mg of cefadroxyl suspension. What volume should be administered? Please use the correct units. 
correct answer for this question is 12 ml you can use this formula to calculate this what you need divided by what you have into what form of solution it's in so you need 600 mg and you have got 250 mg in 5 ml so if you calculate this you'll get answer 12 ml Question 8 is, a patient has been prescribed phenytoin suspension at the dose of 1.8 mg per kg. The patient weight is 100 kg. What volume should be administered? Please use the correct units. Correct answer is 30 ml. So, prescription is 1.8 mg per kg and the patient weight is 100 kg. So, first you have to calculate the total mg patient needed. So, you can calculate 1.8 into 100 kg as the patient weight is 100 kg. So the total uh, prescription is 180 mg. And after that, you can use this formula what you need divided by what you have into what volume of solution it's in. So we need is 180 mg and we have 30 mg per 5 mg. So if you calculate this, answer will be 30 ml. A patient has been prescribed 36 mg of codeine phosphate. What volume should be drawn up for the injection? Please use the correct unit and write your answer to one decimal place. The answer is 0 0.6 ml. So uh, again, you have to use the formula what you need divided by what you have into what volume of solution it's in. So prescription is 36 mg. So our need is 36 mg. And we have got 60 mg in 1 ml of codeine phosphate ampoule. So we have 60 mg in 1 ml. So if you calculate this, you'll get answer 0 0.6 ml. Question 10 is, a patient has been prescribed 8 mg of metoclopramide hydrochloride. What volume should be drawn up for the injection? Please use the correct units and write your answer to one decimal place. So the answer is 1.6 ml. So our prescription is 8 mg. And we have got metoclopramide hydrochloride, 1 ml ampoule and uh, is 5 mg so again you have to use this formula what you need so you need is 8 mg and what you have is 5 mg in 1 ml and what volume of solution it is in 1 ml so if you calculate this you'll get answer 1.6 ml so you have to draw up 1.6 ml Patient has been prescribed tramadol hydrochloride at a dose of 1.5 mg per kg. The patient weight is 80 kg. What volume should be drawn up for the injection? Please use the correct units and write your answer to one decimal place. So answer is 2.4 ml. So your prescription is 1.5 mg per kg and the patient weight is 80. So first, you have to calculate the total dose patient uh, need. So if you calculate 1.5 into 80, then you will get the total dose, 120 mg. And again, you have to use same formula. So uh, prescription is 120, which is our need. And we have got 50 mg in one ml ampoule. So 50 mg we have, and the volume is one ml. So if you calculate all these, you'll get the answer 2.4 ml. So you have to draw what 2.4 ml in the syringe. Question number 12 is, at what rate would you set the infusion pump to run? So the route is IV. Infusion fluid is 5% glucose. The volume in bag is 750 ml and duration is 6 hours. And time is start is 8 a.m. Answer is 125 ml per hour. So you can see the total volume in the bag is 750 ml. And the duration is 6 hours. 
so you have to divide volume by duration and if you calculate this you will get the correct answer and the answer is 125 ml per hour you have to set the infusion pump in 125 ml per hour at what rate would you set the infusion pump to run give your answer to the nearest whole number so the root is iv infusion fluid is 0.9 percent sodium chloride volume is 700 and duration is 8 hour start time is 8 am so the answer is 88 ml per hour so uh, we have got 700 ml of bag uh, 0.9 percent sodium chloride bag and uh, we have to give in eight hours so to calculate that you have to divide uh, 700 with the eight hours and if you calculate this we'll get answer 87.5 ml per hour so as it is 0.5 uh, you can write 88 ml per hour so the answer is 88 ml per hour 14th question is at what rate would you set the infusion pump to run so again, do this IV. Infusion fluid is gel fusion. Volume is 800 ml and duration is 10 hour. And the start time is 8 hour. So the answer is 80 ml per hour. To calculate this, you can see here, we have got 800 ml of fluid bag and we have to give in 10 hour. So to calculate this, we have to divide 800 ml over 10 hour if you calculate this you'll get answer 80 ml per hour so we have to set the infusion pump to run in 80 ml per hour so 15th question is complete the following fluid balance chart by calculating if the patient has gained or lost fluid over 24 hour period if the patient has gained fluid you should include plus before your balance answer example plus 100 ml if the patient has lost fluid you should include minus before your balance answer example minus 100 ml so to calculate this first you have to calculate all the input you can see here and then you have to write here if you calculate this you'll get 950 ml in total input and then you have to add all of these together and then you have to write in total output so if you add all of these you'll get 505 ml and then you have to subtract 950 to the 505 ml so as the input is more than the output you will get the positive balance so you have to put plus sign before number thank you for watching i hope you like my video and it's helpful for you Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get more video. Keep watching, keep supporting. Thank you.